The end of an era in New York policing. There it is. Less than an hour ago, Bill Bratton left one police plaza, ending his distinguished 45-year career served two terms as New York's police commissioner. He retires with a with crime at a record low level in the five boroughs and cities across the country emulating his policing practices. I would use reporter Jim Dolan is in lower Manhattan this afternoon with much more on today's send off. Jim. Yeah, Liz, he's been successful at lowering crime wherever he has gone in law enforcement. And today he said goodbye to that career and to the NYPD as well. Let's take a look at some video shot just a little less than an hour ago. Police Commissioner William Bratton leaving Police Plaza for the last time as commissioner in an emotional ceremony where both police who support him and a small handful of protesters who don't filled police plaza. Bratton spent the day talking with old friends in the department, sharing some memories of nearly three years on the job. His second stint as police commissioner. The city has seen an historic drop in crime in the period bookended by his two terms at the helm of the NYPD, but he is not without detractors, a small number of whom were protesting here today crime has been going down. That's not attributable to broken windows policing at all. Police commissioner has nothing to do with that. Police commissioner has absolutely nothing to do with that. I think any sadness would be tempered by uh, satisfaction, being quite frank with you. It's been 46 years, ups and downs, but overall I think it's been a very good run. And this morning at CompStat, my last CompStat, the extraordinary satisfaction of that creation, Anamone, Maple, Chimney, um, um, and how much that creation has driven the crime reduction in the city. And this afternoon, James O'Neill was sworn in by the mayor as the new police commissioner. He has worked closely with Commissioner Bratton, is expected to continue and expand on his policies. We spoke briefly with Mr. O'Neill uh, late this afternoon, and we will have that when we come back live at 5 o'clock. For now, reporting live.